turn it off. Welcome everyone today to our short on-demand webinar. Thanks so much for joining. Today we will be discussing the five reasons why you should always care about reviews. My name is Mark D. Jamarino, and I am the manager of vendor reviews here for Gartner Digital Markets. And uh, I'll be joining Mark. My name's Arald Hubert. Uh, I'm a senior reviews program manager. Uh, I work on Mark's team. And yeah, so uh, I mean, let's dive in. Uh, essentially, as a quick agenda, uh, you can expect this to be just a quick 30 minutes. And uh, because it's a recorded webinar, feel free to listen to it at your convenience. And also, we want to encourage all of you guys to uh, share it with all your friends. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be looking at a quick overview of the Gardner Digital Markets. Uh, then we'll dive into why reviews always matter, five ways to get more out of your reviews, then the reviews as a service program, which is a Gartner Digital Markets program, and then how to collect reviews and next steps. So and make sure you stick around to the end of the webinar. We will be giving a little bit of a uh, teaser sneak peek of a review analysis uh, platform we're building out for a future release in 2018. Cool. So uh, I'm going to start with a quick overview of Gartner Digital Markets. So most of you guys know the name Gartner, uh, but you probably don't know Gartner Digital Markets as well. So what Gartner Digital Markets is, is uh, Captera, Software Advice, and GetApp, the th three network sites that are B2B software review sites. So all together, they form Gartner Digital Markets. And uh, essentially, people come to these websites to learn more about different software. So they make purchasing decisions by reading reviews on different software on these websites. So um, I mean, as a quick overview, all of them together, they get around 8 million unique visitors per month. And uh, all three sites combined, they have over 300,000 published reviews. So it's very important that if you have a, a profile on Captera, or if you have a profile on GetApp, or you have it on both, but you don't have one on Software Advice, you can actually get a profile on all three of them, and your reviews will share in between all three of those network sites. So. Like I said, if you have a profile on Captera, you also have a profile on GetApp, your reviews that come in on Captera will automatically show up on GetApp. So and one thing overall that the people out there should remember is that the visibility for uh, basic listings on all three of our sites are very much impacted by the quantity of reviews. So if you move from five to 10 reviews, as you said, Aral, from you know your software advice profile, you get 10 reviews on there. That actually goes over to your Captera profile as long as you have it and immediately moves you up our directories, which in turn, um, you know, just makes sure that you have a more accurate representation across the uh, Gartner Digital Markets Network and that more buyers see you as you would rise up that directory since we sort our basic listings by total reviews. Yeah, and uh, uh, not only basic listings, our paid listings, which is our upgraded pay-per-click or pay-per-lead clients, they see a lot more success from having more reviews reviews. So our strongest vendors, uh, the top 10% of them, they get the best conversion rates when they have uh, at least this many reviews on their website. So we're going to be diving in into why review collection matters uh, and how to continue getting reviews because of these reasons. Excellent. Yeah. So when it comes to reviews, I mean, if you're here, you more than likely already know um, just how important reviews are and how much they can help when it comes to converting prospective new clients. Now, um, what you may not know, uh, especially those of you that are on the fence, is that in the age of TripAdvisor, Yelp, Amazon, buyers have really become accustomed to looking at reviews before they purchase anything. Um, whether you think about uh, picking a restaurant to go to for date night or a hotel to stay in on your vacation, you look to see what user-generated gener content out there is saying and what the consensus is about the product or service you're going to be investing your resources into. And software has escaped that trend. Uh, reviews really do influence purchasing decisions. And for us, a couple of studies we've done have really found that the vast majority, two thirds plus uh, of software buyers say reading reviews uh, significantly impacted their purchasing decisions. And buyers these days aren't just looking for one or two reviews. Not surprisingly, again, think of it from your own perspective. They want to see a lot of reviews. They want to see multiple perspectives from admins, users, purchasers, um, different people that are engaging with the platform before they really trust what people are saying. Um, and again, we'll get into this a little bit more later, but it's not just having reviews that's important. It's really about the overall quantity of those reviews. Uh, we found that 64% of buyers want to read at least six uh, reviews before purchasing a piece of software. And as uh, Rald had mentioned previously, 
obviously this has become something that's super important for our client vendors as we have seen um, that vendors that have reviews see roughly around 67 percent more traffic and 75 percent more leads than their counterparts without reviews um, and then overall, when it comes to reviews, I know that people have a good quantity. We have a lot of vendors out there that have, you know, hundreds of reviews, but they're all from 2014. So what do you think uh, they should do about that? I mean, that kind of brings up our next point, which is keep them fresh. So one of the most important aspects, vendors all the time, they're like, oh, well, we already have six reviews. Well, here's the problem. Those reviews are from 2014. Something that's very important that we found uh, through studies um, as well, is that less than 1% of software buyers said they would consider reviews written more than one year ago. I mean, this is just like in your daily life when you go to a restaurant, would you really trust a review that came in 2015 when you're thinking about going to that restaurant in 2018? Probably not so much. Well, the exact same thing is happening with software. And because technology is changing, evolving, adapting, um, it, it's very important that the reviews uh, basically update with the software. So we recommend that you keep your reviews fresh. And what we mean by fresh, I mean, generally people will say written in the last six months, but we actually want to uh, encourage people to have reviews within the last three months. So continue getting them uh, within the last three months because buyers, they want to see those fresh reviews. And after six months, they kind of lose that, that um, freshness and that edge that they used to have. Yeah. And the one thing I'll, I'll say to that is that um, there's a huge trust element that comes with recent reviews. I mean, for all you guys out there, think about how often you update your platforms, let your users know about new features and functionalities you've introduced. Uh, a review from 2014 or 2015, I mean, uh, that's not going to include the current opportunity that is available for a user when it comes to fixing a, a problem or solving anything they might be dealing with. And by having that current content, you're going to be building trust with prospective new buyers. Um, you're going to show that they're a relevant solution for their issues uh, and make sure that you make it easier for that buyer to gain your uh, you know, overall trust or their trust, excuse me and feel very confident in their decision. You know, you wanna make them have the best experience possible when they're researching you and feel like that they're 100% sure your software is gonna meet their current needs with your current offering. Yeah, and I mean, to point to that is, as we're becoming more of a world of technology, uh, it's not just technology that's becoming savvier and better, it's also the user. The user is becoming savvier and they want more. So uh, it's not about having reviews that are six months old or a year old. Now it's about having them three months old. And we keep finding that every day with our vendors that buyers want to make purchasing decisions on fresh reviews. Absolutely. So now that you guys understand the importance of reviews, getting a high quantity, keeping them fresh, it's all about how you get them. And so today we're going to talk you guys through five different ways you can really leverage reviews, focus on recruiting more, um, going through marketing lateral sales strategy, content marketing, brand promotion, and brand engagement. So first thing we'll talk about here is marketing collateral. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of you have marketing teams, so this should be pretty self-explanatory, but the best way to really promote your reviews, your testimonials, is through our badges and the marketing collateral that we have, but it's putting them on your marketing collateral that's gonna be effective. So whether you put it on your website, whether you use it in your blogs, just adding, oh, read our Captura reviews here, those are the best way to get people to uh, read your testimonials and also leave a new testimonial. So uh, we find that our vendors have left them on different landing pages, uh, email signatures, newsletters that they send out every month. That they might add like, leave a review here on our Captera page just to let us know what to update or if you're happy with software, leave a review. Um, also something that we found is at events, uh, people will have their booth and they'll put a little Captera logo on there and we can definitely help you guys with that. But they can put a little Captera logo saying, uh, trusted buyer on the Captera website, please read our reviews on Captera. So we're, we're pushing to help you guys with your marketing collateral and there's definitely things that we can do to help such as events, but a lot of it's going to be done on your end uh, with uh, these different apps. Uh, outlets. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, it's really a collaborative effort between both of us and we're here to help however we can. Um, the one thing I will say is an example I give to a lot of vendors I talk to about reviews uh, because a lot of you guys out there, as Aral has said, um, do have your own marketing efforts and your marketing teams focus on review recruitment and you say, why would I work with you? I already have my own stream going. Um, well, not only uh, do we have some great services, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit, that really perform extremely well. Uh, it's the idea of getting that stamp of approval from a third party you know, uh, from a network like us backed by Gartner, staying completely 
completely objective and showing a holistic representation of each directory, you'll be able to say, you know, this isn't just from our efforts. It's not from, you know, a, a place on our site that just houses reviews. Our client success team has kind of uh, aggregated over the years. But from us working with the Gartner Digital Markets Network and really sourcing reviews from a wide variety of areas, whether it's from your own marketing campaigns, our RAS program, um, organic reviews that come across our profiles, you know, that's going to show a great amount of insight for a buyer and make them feel confident that, that you know, you're pointing them to a third party place where they can see so much information and really get a, a great view of what's available for them. And something you need to know is not only we're a third party, but we're Gartner. Um, so <laughs> Gartner does have a lot of brand recognition. Uh, especially in the industry technology space. So saying we're rated on a Captera, which is a Gartner digital market, does have a lot of leverage. Excellent. So next is your sales strategy. So um, as, if you have a marketing team, I hope you have a sales team as well. Um, when it comes to your selling, the biggest thing you need to do is get in front of concerns and really be a problem solver before the uh, end user, you know, the potential client, has a chance to really even think of the problem. And one of the easiest ways to put someone's mind at ease before they pull the trigger, so to speak, and purchase a product is addressing and showing them different pieces of feedback that your users have already kind of given to you through these review recruitment efforts. So uh, it is an opportunity for you to show off compliments from recent reviewers, uh, show them the, you know, site that we have here with your profile on it that gives an aggregate rating, um, breaks down things like ease of use, uh, value, um, overall just satisfaction with the product. Those are great points that, you know, really money can't buy, that people these days are kind of used to a salesperson talking to them and giving them the basic pitch, but they want to see something from their peers. You know, they want to understand what is the crowd um, say when it comes to this user generated content, you know, what do the majority of people think about this product? Um, and I, am I going to be satisfied with this? Uh, and as you can see from this chart here, um, software buyers today know how important reviews are, and that's not going to change. If anything, this is going to become something that's more involved and more ingrained with the purchasing process. So you need to get ahead of that. Um, and you need to be smart and start including that in your sales materials, in your collateral, your landing pages, whatever you have, uh, just to take advantage of this. Because we don't want you just to recruit reviews for the sake of recruiting reviews. We want you to leverage them. You know, we want these to be a great asset for you moving forward and make your lives easier and make uh, converting clients or excuse me, prospects into clients a really simple process. Yeah. And I mean, that kind of transitioned perfectly into content marketing. So a great way to kind of reach out to prospective clients or maybe people who are uh, gonna be maybe, they're gonna be clients one day, they're in the sales funnel, uh, is through content marketing. Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about that is mainly building your own case studies. So it's a great way to portray the work that you've done in the past is by basically displaying uh, these customer testimonials and these success stories that you've had with your happy clients. And uh, if you use a nice, a robust effort to create a nice case study or a few nice case studies and you send them out to potential clients, it can have a huge impact on just increasing your business, but also kind of building that reputation management that you want. So because you have a reviews case study that's given out to your potential, potential clients and listed through Gartner Digital Markets, there's gonna, it's gonna, like I said before, Gartner holds a lot of leverage as a name, as a brand. So it's definitely gonna help you for from, I mean, a content marketing perspective. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I'll add on to that um, is you don't have to focus just on prospective new clients. Um, share these with your clients. I mean, people who are paying you money uh, and taking the time to, uh, you know, invest in your software need to understand that uh, you're not just a great choice because they signed a contract with you a year ago, six months ago, three years ago, uh, but you're a great choice because there are so many satisfied users out there. They, you're you're uh, you know, a great option that is continually polling your users, that is trying to improve and get feedback and overall just improve who you are. And they should see that, you know, you wanna be that green and ever growing option for them and not necessarily just focus on adding new people into your client pool. Um, and that's really just a branding effort, which leads us really into this whole brand promotion idea um, is we've talked about this a little bit so far, but uh, reviews are just such an important aspect today in holding, you know, uh, your station in whatever marketplace you're in. Um, is you can be the best product, have the best solution, be on the cutting forefront of um, some industry. But if you don't have users to back up 
what your claims are to really sh show, hey, here's what they do and what they do well, and they actually follow through on what their marketing materials say, no one's going to believe it. You know, um, these days when it comes to reviews, you see the stat here, positive reviews really do make more than almost three quarters, excuse me, um, of uh, consumers trust a local business more and that'll bleed into software. So you want to promote those, you know, don't show, shy away from it, really engage with people, respond to those reviews, thank customers for their feedback and use that conversation as a way to promote the next version of your software. Again, we don't want you just to house reviews. We want you to engage and learn from them and make yourself better. Yeah, and uh, I mean, to Mark's point, obviously you want to promote those positive reviews, but it's not a very bad thing to have uh, negative reviews or not as strong reviews. So mm -hmm. uh, we, we ran some studies uh, early on last year uh, and buyers actually trust uh, a mix of reviews more than just seeing uh, five five-star reviews in a row because it does uh, prove to be a little bit more of a legitimate company if there's not necessarily unhappy clients but changes that need to made uh, to update the software in certain aspects of it so don't be don't be afraid of having negative reviews or not 100% positive reviews it's nice to have a nice mix of both positive and somewhat negative reviews yeah and in that regard it kind of goes into our next um, point here but brand engagement it's what Aral was just talking about uh, but your reputation needs to be one of uh, a vendor that is able to uh, promote and thank people for their positive reviews but also uh, respond to and address and engage with negative reviews um, we want to show engagement we want to show you have this great customer support system ready to help your clients that may just be confused about a certain feature you'd be surprised how many negative reviews we see where someone says oh i purchased this for x reason and x reason doesn't seem to be involved or included excuse me in the suite that i purchased and the vendor will follow up uh, and just say hey thanks so much for the feedback we actually do offer this please get in touch with your account manager for a tutorial on using x feature um, and that solves the problem right there and if you think about it, you know, negative reviews can be scary, but there's such a great opportunity to not only improve your product, but really salvage a client relationship. Because just think about it, if that vendor didn't have that knowledge that this user who had just purchased their product wasn't getting the full you know, opportunity to leverage every feature in their suite, they could have lost that account. Um, so this is, again, another great opportunity for retention and growth. Uh, and it's something that you shouldn't shy away from. As Aral just said, you know, coming to a page and seeing nothing but five stars is great, but for some people it's a red flag. And I'll throw it out to all you guys out there listening that um, you know, when you are researching a restaurant or a hotel or any product on some site uh, and you see nothing but five star reviews, um, I can't speak for all of you out there, I'll speak for myself. Uh, sometimes it's a red flag. You know, sometimes it's okay, who's getting paid what here? What's the catch? There doesn't seem exactly organic and authentic. So having that mix of one stars, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, just adds an element of authenticity um, and trueness to, to your profile. Yeah, and I mean, going back on that, it's, like you said, don't shy away from the negative reviews. It's an opportunity for your company to get better. That's the way I look at it, is if somebody's leaving a review and they have some suggestions, they have some maybe some complaints, it's an opportunity for you uh, technically to make your software better or just to improve certain aspects of your platform. So we always look at it as an opportunity and it's gonna help you uh, in the long run uh, growing your business because if somebody's gonna leave a negative review, it might not be the, it might not be the first time and you wanna avoid it to happen uh, another time. Yeah, and for everyone out there who would like it, we do have a uh, checklist of do's and don'ts for responding to reviews and how you can actually leverage negative reviews and turn a uh, negative into a positive. If you are interested in that, please do just contact us. We are happy to provide it. You can download it. Uh, we want to make sure everyone out there feels well equipped uh, to handle these situations. And we are more than happy to talk you guys through uh, if it is your first situation responding to a review and you want some consultancy uh, help with that, let us know. You know, our goal is to be as ridiculously helpful as possible. So please don't hesitate to reach out with that um, and make sure that you guys feel totally comfortable. All right, so the last thing we'll talk about here when it comes to getting reviews um, is our reviews as a service program, which is really just such an easy way to get reviews. Yeah, so essentially, I mean, this is something that we want to encourage everyone to do is take advantage of this reviews as a service program because first of all, it's free. So we, essentially the way it works is you provide a list of users, we contact them uh, on your behalf saying, please leave a review and as an ad incentive, you might receive a gift card. 
So the reason we've been implementing this is because we want to take the work off of your hand, but also we want to help you guys drive reviews in a quick and efficient way. So, so far we've helped around uh, 3,000 vendors uh, recruit reviews and we've contacted over a million users over uh, one, one and a half years uh, to contact them to provide a review. So those are pretty huge numbers. We've uh, definitely recruited something north of 40,000 reviews with this program. Yeah, definitely. Well above that at this point, tens of thousands of reviews. And the program's only growing. Um, as more vendors leverage it, uh, they keep coming back to it. One thing I like to highlight is that there's no limit to the number of times you leverage this service. So if you would like to use it once now, uh, and then once later on, three months down the road, to keep your reviews fresh, which we've talked about as a huge uh, aspect of a profile, you're more than welcome to. It'll be free again. Yeah, and uh, uh, so some quick tips on using it. Uh, we definitely recommend having a list of at least 100 users. So we'll incentivize the first maybe 10 or so uh, who leave a review a gift card. But if you give us a, a list above 100, uh, you'll be able to not only drive 10 reviews, but probably a lot more because uh, you're essentially giving them the opportunity to get a gift card if they get in there quick and leave a review. But as you might know, more reviews will be left, which is better for your software profile on our website because like Mark said before, uh, our profiles on the basic listing side are ranked by number of reviews, but also you just want more reviews, like we said. So, and the good thing about this is also the gift cards that we provide, uh, your users actually get a choice. It can be an Amazon gift card, it can be a Starbucks gift card, Visa, iTunes, or there's also an option to donate it to charity. So if some of your users are not able to leave gifts or give gifts uh, for uh, different, I mean, reviews, advice, all that stuff, they can just donate the money to charity. And we're currently sponsoring Girls Who Code, which is uh, an organization that we feel pretty strongly about as well. Yeah, absolutely. And when it comes to this, I mean, what we want to make sure is that we do all of the work uh, and we don't make you guys feel like you have to do any of the heavy lifting. Um, because when we created this program, the reason was uh, we had talked to so many vendors who just said, hey, we get it. Reviews matter, but we just don't have the bandwidth. Uh, we don't have the time to focus on this right now. Uh, I wish we did, but there's not much more we can do other than say, hey, we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, and while I, I also will challenge it, review should also be a priority at all times and be a top one for you guys. Uh, we put this together to really solve that issue uh, and make it an easy process for you to get reviews where, as Zerald said, you just pull together a list of users you want us to contact about writing a review. Um, you put it through a security encryption process we have in place here, only accessible via secure credentials by our uh, email marketing team based out of our Gartner office. And then we just run that co-branded drip campaign. So we're solely focused on getting reviews, pushing people to your review submission form, um, which takes about two or three minutes to fill out. Uh, and then we handle the incentivization uh, payment of that. We track overall success rates. It's really a full service. Uh, and all you're required to do to leverage it is pull a list and upload it. Yeah, and uh, you're dedicated, you might not know this, but you actually have a dedicated reviews program manager that can help. And we have a full team here uh, that helps you essentially work with you to get the right list size, to let you know when the campaign's about to go out, to let you know how the campaign is going. So it's not like we're telling you to do everything yourself and just upload the list. We will help you answer your questions. And um, something good to note is um, as well, you don't need to have a profile on Captera. You can also have a profile on Software Advice and GetApp, and we will run the same program. So this is a very, very much important. a Gartner Digital Markets program, and we will offer it to any profile. But if you're on Captera and you're pretty familiar with the vendor portal, you can actually just go in there and on the reviews tab, uh, which you might have seen before, just to look at your current reviews, there's a get more reviews now button, and you can just upload your list right there, and we'll contact you letting you know we received your list, expect it to go out within these uh, days, and bam, the, you'll get notifications as reviews are submitted. So it's really easy. We're here to help you, but even if you don't need any help, you can do it right now. Uh, just upload your list directly into your vendor portal. Yeah, great point. And you know, as Arald said, you do have a dedicated review specialist. So we are here to help you. Um, and if the reviews as a service program isn't a fit, we still want to help you get reviews. You know, we created this just to make it easy for you uh, to get a high quantity of reviews really quickly. Um, and if you want to find out who you should talk to about the other methods you can take to get reviews, you simply email rpm at capterra.com. Uh, I know we're, we're saying a lot of links and emails. We will include these uh, in the descriptions below the video here. So if you just want to check that out. Um, and then when it comes to other options to uh, recruit reviews, um, again, you know, all of our review recruitment specialists are here to talk you through them. So you can have, you know, something like a, a regular email campaign or 
Uh, I don't know what other ideas. Yeah, so I, I've seen uh, uh, some more vendors use Marketo and use their own run their own email campaigns. But something that I've seen work really well is uh, putting the review link directly in their newsletter, and these vendors will just get a healthy couple new reviews every month. Which I mean, that that's actually the most ideal mm. prospect because you're getting more reviews every month. They're still fresh. You're getting a good amount of reviews. It solves basically everything that we've said Absolutely. in this uh, presentation. So we're really happy with that. But uh, as you can see also on this slide, we uh, some people have even created their own little signature uh, to say, leave a review on Captera. So obviously we're Gardner Digital Markets. You can use it, Software Advice, Get App, Captera. But yeah, a lot of vendors do this. If you guys want to do that, we definitely recommend it. Uh, hosting or participating in review co collection contests. I think we just ran um, Reviews Madness back in March, uh, kind of coincide I mean, I guess we're still running it. <laughs> yes, we are. It's still going on. And yeah, and I mean, that's been super uh, helpful when it comes to giving people kind of that competitive drive. Um, one thing I will say is that when it comes to these initiatives, if you are leveraging them, that's fantastic. And I highly recommend you keep doing so. As Arald said, you know, having two reviews come in every month is fantastic, but it's also good to supplement those with a large quantity of reviews coming in uh, at a pretty short burst to kind of just give you a nice peak and valley type of a momentum when it comes to reviews. So if you have your own social presence, if you have your signature and new newsletters, if you have links going on other places, keep doing that, please do. Uh, but don't be afraid to also dip into RAS to do a large blast, really get that quantity up and then continue to keep it fresh with your own methods and then just keep working with us. Because again, we want to collaborate, we want to make it easy and we want to make these profiles as robust and accurate descriptions of you guys as possible. Yeah, and so we find that the vendors who are most successful, they're not just using one of these. They're not just doing an email campaign of their own. They're using our reviews as a service program, RAS, but they're also, uh, having an email signature saying, leave us a review on uh, Gartner or Captera. So it, it's really a combination of all these different programs, these uh, different ways of collecting uh, reviews on your own. It, it's a nice combination of all of those. That's going to be kind of a healthy balance for you to keep getting reviews, getting big bursts of reviews, and being competitive, whether you have a basic listing or an upgraded listing on our websites. Yeah, and then as we said earlier in this presentation, um, we are currently working on creating a pretty robust suite of review analysis tools. So uh, in the near future, be on the lookout for this from us, but we're going to be able to offer you guys uh, a pretty fantastic and powerful tool backed by Gartner, which will allow you to look into the review data to see how you compare to other vendors in the market, um, just how fresh your reviews are, what your breakdown is by each different uh, category of the review. As you can see on this slide here, it's overall quality, ease of use, features and functionality, customer support, value for money. Um, in that tool, we'll be able to break that down for you and compare that to uh, the average across your directory, other direct competition, do some uh, word analysis, everything like that. It's gonna be pretty robust and we're pretty excited about it. Uh, and that will only help you guys and serve you well in the near future since you'll be able to tweak your products um, as we'll be able to you know, show you who's using it, um, what type of rating they gave based on their title, company, keywords, et cetera, et cetera. So get excited for that. That's something that will only uh, serve you guys well in the near future. Yeah. And I mean, that's a good kind of transition into, I mean, like I said, it's our last slide. And we just want to thank you guys for taking the time uh, to let us share with you about different reviews collection and why it matters to continue getting reviews and also having recent reviews. So obviously we want to emphasize, uh, we're here to help you. We're here to help you gather reviews on any of your Gardner digital market profiles. And we're here to help you with our RAS program. We're here to help you with your marketing collateral. We're here to help you in every way possible when it comes to reviews and making you guys, making your profile seem that more attractive to your users and leveraging those reviews for your own purposes. Yeah, so, we, we really hope this was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed today, we really encourage you to stay on top of the latest videos and educational tutorials we put out. Uh, please do subscribe to our new Gartner Digital Markets YouTube channel. It was created specifically for software businesses like you guys, so definitely going to have a lot of great content there. Uh, and as Aral has said, if you're excited to start collecting reviews, please do sign up for that Reviews as a Service program. Follow the link in the description. Um, you can go on that vendor portal as well and gather reviews. Uh, and then you can also contact us about other methods we can help you out with when it gets uh, you know, time for you to do more internal review recruitment efforts as well. Yeah, and one last thing, feel free to contest, contact us at any time, rpm at captera.com. We're always here to help. We'll, I mean, we'll respond within probably the hour. So we are, I mean, dedicated to helping you guys be successful. 
Absolutely. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for your time. We really do look forward to helping you out uh, and go on out there and start recruiting more reviews.